Uh, my name is Ming Yi and I'm a design engineer with the lighting team in Dyson. Uh, today I'm going to show you a couple of demo stations in this area to really highlight the technology of the Dyson light cycle as you have heard earlier in the presentation. So the first technology that we have is the daylight tracking technology. So as uh, you've heard, light is really important to our well-being and we are often under artificial light and sometimes it's static, it is at odds with our body clock. So um, the Dyson Life Cycle is uh, engineered to fix that problem. We have uh, we, we use a unique time, date and driven algorithm to uh, calculate color temperature and brightness of light, local daylight anywhere in the world, uh, wherever you are. So it has three warm, three cool LEDs to uh, mix this light together to provide you with the right kind of light for the right time of the day. So for example, if you're at night, then you really don't have, because you have to tune, uh, like do light on your phone. With this light, you don't have to do that. It automatically uh, does it for you if you use the Dyson, uh, if, you do, if you use the daylight tracking mode. So um, you can see over here, this is an accelerated video that is synced up with this product to show you how daylight tracking works uh, throughout the day. Uh, if you hang on for a second, you can go back to uh, morning. Alright, so sunset. Now, as you wake up uh, during sunrise, you can see that the light is warmer. It is um, at a lower uh, light uh, color temperature and that wakes your body up. And as it moves towards noon, where the sun is at its brightest and uh, highest color temperature, and this is where you get up, get going, and that's most of your work. And then as you uh, move towards the evening and the sun sets, and it replicates natural sunlight where it is warmer and uh, uh, lower color temperature to really tone down your body and gets you ready for bed, according to uh, your natural body clock. Okay, let me move on to the next station if you follow me. Over here, uh, we're going to um, further enhance, um, uh, give you a further explanation of how daylight tracking works. It is not just uh, tracking daylight throughout just one day, but we are able to replicate light anywhere in the world regardless of your location. And it also there's also different light um, um, for different seasons. So for example, I would choose maybe London. Okay. And also, it allows you to input your age. So an older person of maybe 60 years old would require four times more light than a younger person. And, it, and the app takes that in, and the Dyson Light Cycle will uh, adjust the output according to your age as well. So if I set my age to 64-ish, okay. Now you can see that if I set the light to um, morning, around 7 o'clock. This is how it looks like, uh, maybe early summer, late spring in uh, May. But if I adjust it to winter, you can actually see how uh, the light uh, intensity and color actually changes because of uh, the, the different seasons. And the Dyson light cycle, uh, and this shows that the Dyson light cycle really takes in your, your, your location, your time date, uh, any, anywhere in the world to really provide you the right type of light. Uh, for the right time of the day, season, and wherever you are. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next station if you can. Mm -hmm. Here I'm going to show you another key technology, so some of the um, important optical design that we have incorporated into the Dyson Light Cycle. So as um, Will has mentioned, um, with daylight tracking, it offers plenty of benefits, but if the LED deteriorates and the light quality diminishes over time, then it really is uh, pointless. And that usually happens when the LED overheats. So the Dyson Light Cycle um, uses heat pipe technology to solve this problem. So what heat pipe technology is, um, we have a, a vacuum sealed copper tube and it sits right under the LED. If you can see from the colorway over here, as the LED heats, um, a single droplet of water in this uh, copper tube uh, vaporizes, it turns into steam, and then it will travel to the end, the cooler end of the copper uh, pipe, where it then condenses. 
So as that happens, heat is dissipated evenly and very quickly through the arm of the Dyson light cycle, which acts as a heat sink. It's made of aluminum. So um, then the water uh, that sorry the vapor that condenses into water then gets uh, pulled back to the end with where the LED is through capillary action, and it is. Uh, a passive cooling cycle that just keeps on going and continuous and it is very very effective so um, I can actually show you how effective it, it, it is if somebody wants to come in mm, try sure. it out. okay sure you can hold this uh, mm -hmm. copper cube with me okay it'll be me. hot it will be hot very okay. quickly so I will tell you when to take okay. it out so you can feel how quickly oh, you that's feel right. yeah. very hot, very hot. it's warm and it's warm and then you can if you put it in the cold water you can also feel how quickly it cools ah, down. that's right that's right yeah, so this sensitive is for the temperature. Yes, mm -hmm. very, very, very conductive and very mm -hmm. effective cooling. So this is what we use in the Dyson light cycle mm -hmm. to thermally manage our LEDs. And this is really what keeps it uh, maintain its quality for up to sixty years. And uh, so it's not dispo that disposable. Okay, over here as well, uh, you can see that um, where the three warm and three cool LED is, that mixes light together to really. Um, helps uh, give an output of um, correct color temperature anytime. And uh, you can also see that there's a custom reflector up here that is split by the PMMA diffusion film that really mixes this, color, uh, this light evenly to uh, provide really high quality uh, shadow. And it also has um, this lower reflector that packages all this and uh, prevent glare keeping so, so, so the, the heat pipe also uh, allows the, the LED to really pack, be packaged together. So all of the really uh, high, high technology and really um, effective uh, technology is being all packaged into this uh, small pad for a really, really good optimal, uh, optical design. Uh, we also have the sensors. There's a proximity sensor where the button is over here. You can turn it on. It saves energy because the light will turn off automatically by itself if there's no presence around it for two minutes. If you use that, and the ambient light sensor uh, tracks the background light, so it adjusts light accordingly to your background, so you wouldn't get a sudden burst of light. Um, maybe when you go into a dark room. Okay. Now let's move on to this station over here. And over here, uh, I will be uh, showing you some of the light properties of the Dyson light cycle compared to two other more conventional LEDs. So uh, the Dyson light cycle is engineered to provide really, really high quality light. And one of the key uh, features is that we have a very high color rendering uh, index, which is uh, over 90. So what color rendering index is, um, it is the ability of light to render color uh, close to its natural state, which is under sunlight. Under sunlight, CRI is 100. So it is how objects are supposed to look like naturally. And we are able to achieve over 90. And um, on top of that, why we show the um, index of R9, it is the ability of light to render the color red. And it is uh, very difficult for a conventional LED to render color, the color red. Um, and we are able to achieve 60 compared to the other conventional LEDs. And um, as you've been told as well, uh, flicker, even though unnoticeable, it actually causes eye strain and visual fatigue. And we are able to design the Dyson light cycle to have very, very low flicker uh, frequency of um, actually uh, below 0.1% uh, as compared to other conventional LEDs with higher flicker percentage. Okay, you can come back later and I'll show you uh, the measurements, so it's not just numbers that you have to take in, I can actually prove it to you later on. Okay. And the last area over here, uh, I will show you how the Dyson Link app works and really helps personalize this high technology product. So on top of uh, manually adjusting the color, temperature and brightness on the light, which is the slider up here, Turning it on and off. You can use the Dyson Link app to do that. So you can adjust the brightness and color temperature with the app. It has a boost mode, which allows, uh, which gives you like a sudden high intensity of um, of light. Maybe for uh, a, 
a quick, like detailed work. And it allows you to turn on daylight tracking. And it also comes with a couple of preset modes. So the preset modes that we have here are the study modes. This is really good for maybe a child who's studying at home for long hours. Um, this light is set to um, be at the optimal and most comfortable light for studying. And we have the relax mode for somebody who comes home from work in the evening and you want to uh, you know, tone your body down and relax. And this is my favorite, engineers and designers favorite, the high precision mode. And this is where you can do your modeling or look at very detailed objects under this light. It is perfect for it. You can also set your own um, modes. So to your own preferences, uh, to your own tasks, whatever, however light, uh, how, how, however the setting you want it to be, you can actually save up to 20 of these uh, modes. Uh, yeah, so there you have it. This is the Dyson Life Cycle. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.